So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and does this get your attention? Well today guys, I'm going to showcase you exactly how you get this monster of a weapon. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this incredible weapon as you can see. Look at this thing. Whoop up. You know what? I'm just getting every, every, every day. I'm just seeing and finding more and more incredible items in this game. It just, it just keeps surprising me. Okay, so first up, shout out to my pal uh, Eclipse showcasing the location to this thing to me. Uh, full credit to him. His channel can be found link below if you do want to check him out and show him some more love. So the weapon is called the Alabaster's Lord Sword. And as you can see, uh, tributes required 16 in strength, 12 in dexterity, and 18 in intellect. So it's a great sword. It truly is a great sword. But it is located up here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Oh, uh, nope. Annex Tunnel. We're going to call it the Annex Tunnel. That's what it's called. <laughs> this is located up here. Up here. Which is quite a trek to get to. Because, guys, you need to do quite a lot to get here. Now, I know a lot of in-game players will be up this area. But it, this is right out of the way. I mean, this is right out of the way. There's a lot of mist here. You can't even see where you're going. But yeah, this is... What's that marked for? I don't even know where that's marked. But yeah, this cave's out of the way. So firstly, you first have to gain access to the Grand Lift of Dectus. You need a medallion for this, or two halves of a medallion. Search YouTube for a guide, people. It's as easy as that. Yeah, there's so many out there. You just, just, It's easy. You probably got it already. You're probably up here already. Once you're up here, guys, you have to come down here, come round here, come into here, guys. You, you'll be a guy on horseback here. Take him out. Simple as that. Come through into this like massive city area place and you'll eventually have to fight. Uh, well, like, you, you climb up the dragon's wing and you'll come to Godfrey, I believe it is. You have to kill him. Then you have to go up a floor and kill the Ormond King. Fair enough. Yep. Not that easy to be honest, but yeah, once you do that, guys, you come back and you go down this path here. Uh, enter the Forbidden Lands. You're then uh, the Grand Lift of Roy. You should be able to come up this. Come up here, guys. Come all the way up here. All the way up here. And eventually, you'll come to the Castle Soul rooftop. There's a boss here called Commander Neil. Now, for some people, he's super, super hard. For me, it was quite easy. So, I'm just, it just depends on your build. My build is a mix of just slash and beat him up and a bit of magic thrown in. But I destroyed him with my, uh, my Comet Azure. Well, he gives you one half of another medallion. That other medallion is called... Oh, wrong one. This right here. No, nope. would help if we went across the keys. This. The Halic Tree Secret Medallion. So he gives you the half. You need to get the other half. And the other half is located... Well, it's actually way, way easier. You probably could have got this first. Back down here. Here. So you come to this area, you'll go up the hill... There'll be a guy at the top um, hiding in the basket. You hit him. Well, hit the basket. Don't use a heavy weapon. You you think you can kill him? Yeah, so you don't want to do that. You just want to, say, punch the basket. He'll come out of the basket. And he'll, eventually, after you got rid of all his dialogue, he'll give you the other half of the medallion. Then, guys, you need to come back to the Grand Lift of Rold. Then, guys, you need to select, so press right on your D-pad to select the secret medallion area. You'll then, guys, appear here. The hidden path to the Halic Tree. Then, people, which I'll actually showcase you the route. It is one trek. I'll go back here now and show it to you. It's a trek and you can't see where you're going. And it's a pain in the ass, but the sword is worth it. Now, the sword actually drops from a mini boss inside of this cave. The main boss in this cave yet, I ain't quite beat. You can probably see my runes. My runes are on the map down here because... They're inside this cave because the dude just battered me. <laughs> battered me. So yeah, you'll come to here eventually. And then see guys, we've got a 
it's just so, it's so, so, it's so foggy, you can't see nothing. Now, I don't think you can go left because I think there's a cliffside there. Uh, I thought that was it then. I'm certain, it, yep, there you go, see? So you have to come this way. You have to follow a path this way. So it's quite a trek, so... Just look at the first light, your first light, you want to come this way. So we're heading in this direction, guys. And I've got to come back around like that. So that's the way you got to go. So yeah, and and trust me, it will be as bad for you as it looks on screen. Now, if you haven't been here, it's so foggy. Eventually, this fog does clear and you can see. Oh, hello. We'll take you. But eventually, this fog does clear and you are good. Oh, my life. So I'm just, I hear wolves. I don't like the sound of wolves. I hear something big. I don't like that either. Let's keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So we're still heading in that direction. Let's keep going. There's nothing too dark. Great here that can kill you apart from that. Which ain't too bad. But yeah, keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh. So I haven't got that. So we're going to grab that, guys. Actually, I ain't seen that before. So that's cool. So there's good. Hey, you learn something new. Watching a DPJ video. Okay, so there's a grace there. So that's good to know. There's a grace right there on the map. So once we get to the water, we're going to turn back on ourselves. Because we can then see where we're going. So you'll see the fog will clear here. Oh, it did for me last time. Is it going to do it now? There we go. It's clearing. Semi-clearing. And now we're going to go just here. Just so we can see where we're going. There we go. That's much better. Look at them two dudes there, cow hugging along, tugging along that carriage. You know there's something good in that carriage. I'm going to have to go and inspect that. I'm going to have to go and inspect that. I really am. I don't know what that noise is, guys, but that is massive. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Run away. <laughs> yeah, we, we, ain't, we ain't messing. I've just got to this area, guys. I ain't messing about up here. I'm just coming in, getting my loot and getting out of there. Okay, so you'll come to a cliffside here. You will have to jump down a bit. There you go. And in here, guys, is where you need to go. Now, I'll run to you because I've actually killed the guy. And my recording messed up. My recording messed up, would you believe it? Uh, but he isn't hard whatsoever. He actually is fighting two other people down here. So if you leave them, they'll actually take some of his health off for you. So it's, for me, it's about four or five hits. Simple as that. It's not hard whatsoever. Um, there's also another guy on the way out of the cave before you get to the main bus room, which it, uh, I would recommend. See, that's the main bus room there, but you can't actually, when you first come into the cave, you have to open this door from the other side. So you can't get in that way. So you have to go all the way around, which is the way I'll show you. Okay, so just jump down. We are like that down here. You can avoid all the ads. You ain't got to worry about none of them. There's a few hard hitting ones, but there's nothing too bad. I will say as well, guys, though, you get stuck trying to get out of here. You go that way. Go through there. Now here, guys, you have to jump down again. See, where you jump down here, guys, is where that dude will spawn in. He's like a big guy. He normally spawns in... No, it's not that corner there. It is. Okay, so he's back. Okay, so you just, you just kill him. You kill him. And you'll notice as well, he will fight these two guys here. So hopefully he draws their attention. You can see? So you can just leave them to it, and then you can take them out afterwards. It is as simple as that. And he will drop this sword. And it is really, guys. Should I kill him again? I've actually got my wrong sword on. Let's put you off. Let's put you back on. To be honest, I don't, I don't really need to mess around with swords when I've got that if you're gonna hit him is he gonna move oh it's getting him it's kind of getting him it's kind of get oh now it's getting him oh now it's getting him <laughs> come on boy there you go you're dead you're dead i didn't actually kill him like that the first time to be honest then he drops it and he's really guys as simple as that it's as simple as that and just climb back out you just climb back out guys and there we have it people Another Arden Ring video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.